Hello my lovelies and welcome back to Allotment of the Dead and uh, today we're going to do a bit more chilli tasting um, again I'm not sure I'm looking forward to this but we'll see how it goes um, let's show you okay so delight, today's delights are a mixture of different uh, flavours and heat um, so we'll start with the the monkey face yellow one. Unfortunately, I picked that a couple of days ago. So it's got a bit wrinkly, but it should still be okay. And uh, the next in the list will be this rainforest chili here. So it's from the forests and rainforests of Brazil. And then we're into the uh, these long thin ones. So Takanotsumi, hawk claw. So this is a, a Japanese variety. Um, I put this out as a uh, video earlier on probably over a couple of weeks ago now um, actually grows upright on top of the plant um, like big claws uh, and then we've got a nice cayenne pepper there the red flame again 30 to 50,000 scovilles that one and as we move over so the Goronong habanero chili again this is a, a Malaysian habanero nice wrinkly skin to it but again we're up to 150 to 3000 scoville units there and then we've got a couple of biggies so we've got the big sun habanero you find this in a lot of garden centers where they uh, sell the plants uh, and that's kind of what this one is as well so 300 to 400 thousand scovilles and uh, we've got a nice little puma there again some nice uh, kind of purple colour to this and again 300 400,000 scale reels and then we'll finish it off today with this Komodo dragon so I've picked a little one basically uh, reason being I didn't want to kill myself with this they started selling these in Tesco's a while back as a, a super hot chilli in uh, in their vegetable department but uh, I grow this one myself. So 1.4 million scovilles. Okay, so got myself a couple of drinks just in case. I don't know why I think tea makes any difference. I don't think it does. And a nice glass of milk. So let's see how it goes. <clears throat> okay. Okay, I'm still smiling at this point. We'll see how that goes. Right, so we'll start with the nice monkey face yellow it's supposed to have like a monkey kind of face to it on the front but again this has got a bit soft but yeah it should still be nice one to five thousand scovilles quite a mild chili uh, not quite as hot as a jalapeno but we'll give that a go mm. it's got a really nice aromatic smell to this and a taste it's almost mango Mm, really fruity really nice a little bit of heat so the seeds up again towards the, the calyx of the uh, of the chili but uh, and even though it's a couple of days old with that crispness to the skin still really really good mm. Oh, that heat is quite lasting quite nice it's actually more heat than I thought it would be I mean, it actually feels like it's more than 5,000 but uh, yeah, onwards and upwards as they say okay so we'll move over now to the rainforest chili so, kind of a chili looks a little bit habanero-ish, and it's um, again from the rainforest of Brazil. I'll give this one a go. Oh, really crisp and immediate. And that flavour is and the aroma. 
it's really really good so it's this one's 10 to 50 thousand scales I think this is more on the higher range of that oh that is quite a flavor though it's a real fruity kind of habanero flavor to it even though heat wise it's probably nowhere near what the habaneros would be but absolutely full of seeds so really really good oh flavor is quite lasting as well I think uh, we'll have a bit more of a drink I think oh nice right we move on now to a couple of the longer ones so the red flame cayenne so the, this nice beautiful long red pepper here so uh, these are uh, ones I use quite often in things like chili jams uh, these cayenne types are really really good for jams or if you mix them with some nice sweet peppers you get a fantastic result okay we'll give this a go mm. pungency of the flavor of the chilies again it's really really good nice and sweet a little tiny bit of heat not much so maybe I've already blasted my heat sensors with uh, the previous chili I don't know but uh, yeah really good and again that flavor will come across in the chili sauces that you make from it and the, uh, the chili jam so again really really good okay let's clear the palate a little bit I'm gonna see if I can try and get rid of some of the excess heat that we had from before so okay right into the hawk claw the takonatsumi Japanese chili nice small thin chili use these in stir fries things like that really really good uh, even kind of egg fried rice chop these up and add that to it makes a really nice fragrant flavor to the rice okay a little bit like cayenne so oh that nice sweetness right at the start again being a kind of long thin chili you've got the seeds all the way to the end of the chili not just preserved near the top so this one's supposed to be 30 to 50 thousand but to be honest with you that one's quite mild flavoursome the flavour's quite lasting okay going to uh, some of the large ones now I need to prepare for these I think okay oh. so Goronong Malaysian Habanero generally pick small ones at the moment because I kind of want to use my big ones okay if I can for sauces and cooking and just put them straight in the freezer because these chilies really freeze really really well don't need to blanch them just stick them straight in a the bag straight in the freezer jobs are good so Goronong oh oh that is a really nice a really good flavor you can tell it's the habanero because there was almost no heat when I took that first initial bite. The seeds are literally right tucked away right at the top. But um, that's got straight to my lips. Really, really strong, fruity. Kind of depth of flavour of that is really good. That would go really well in a chilli sauce. Not going to be something I'm going to use for a jam, I think. I don't think anyone would eat it. But... Um, really good flavor to that oh it's still building okay oh gosh it's 
so that was 150 to 300,000. Okay. The Gorgon is still building. Uh, I didn't think that would be that hot. Oh, crikey. That really is quite strong. Okay. <clears throat> I had to take a bit of a step away because uh, I was suffering with that one. That's gone straight to my lips as well. My lips are still tingling, real kind of pins and needles. So that the capsicum in these chilies um, is it's there kind of as a protection it's to try and dissuade things from eating them. Um, most of the time that works. Um, that being said, things like birds and things like that, they uh, they can't taste capsicum, so uh, a lot of these things are kind of spread, the seeds are spread by, uh, by birds who will eat the fruit and then disperse them. Uh, okay, oh dear, it's repeating a bit, apologies for that. Okay, so we'll go on to the next. So, Big Sun, probably big flavour, probably, probably going to kill me, but we'll see how it goes. Okay. And again, oh, that really nice fruity flavour. It's a flavour similar to the Goronong, but I've still got the heat from that last chilli, I think. So it's kind of hid what the heat of this one is a little bit. So I think that last one was probably closer to 300,000 because this one is probably around the same. Again, that fruitiness of these habanero chilies really add a lot to uh, to these chilies makes them so useful for things like um, sauces and things okay uh, this big sun is still again a bit like the Goronong building and um, Goronong to me seems a lot hotter um, maybe the size of the uh, the big sun have an error probably has had some effect on how hot it is maybe uh, I'm not saying I'm disappointed because uh, I know I've got two really hot ones to go. That was supposed to be between 300 and 400,000 scale wheels. So <coughs> we've got two left. So uh, Puma, um, I already did one of these the other day. So this was 300 to 400 scale wheel units. Again, got this particular chili and the Goronong from uh, Baker Creek Seeds in America so uh, they are really really good to grow I mean they grow really well um, so we'll have a look see what this one tastes like oh now that one smells like a scotch bonnet plus so again all the seeds at the top of the calyx really strong flavor of that kind of tropical fruit that really hot fruity texture flavor coming all the way through that that's like eating three or four scotch bonnets all in one go it's kind of nice and flavorsome you know the flavors are just cutting through everything I've got the heat, the heat is building, but the flavour kind of makes up for that. So again, really, really glad I'm, I uh, grew this one this year. I've grown a lot of chilies this year again, and it's taken this long uh, in the season. I planted these in February. It's taken this long in the season to try and get some of these really hot, super hot chilies through to uh, to be able to use them flavor uh, for the chili sauces and things like that there's a quite a few uh, on the plants down the plot and uh, most of them unfortunately it's still green 
and again we've had a bit of a weird kind of summer this year plenty of rain um, not quite so much sun or at least direct sun so the chilies have grown really well in terms of the kind of the size in some of them but um, in terms of setting the fruit and things it's been a bit weird anyway right we'll go on to this last one I think I need a oh oh I have some milk as well, I think. Before I try this last one, so the last one again. I've got a nice small one off the uh, off the bush, Komodo dragon. So the last one was three to five hundred, or three to four hundred thousand scovilles. So uh, this is supposed to be. 1.4 million so this is three times as hot as that okay then so uh, Komodo dragon then so four times hotter than the last chili it looks kind of doesn't look like kind of gnarly and stuff like some of the really hot super chop chilies you can get got a nice smooth surface to the skin a um, few folds in there more fold equals more membrane usually so uh, that usually means more heat so let's give this one a go oh that popped in my mouth oh the flavor of that is so good Barely any seeds in this. Uh, it's about one or two, if that. But that fruity flavour is absolutely amazing. That was like a pop of. Uh, I'm gonna get you. So, oh, now it's building. Okay, so I've got the flavour. The flavour is still there. Uh, back of my tongue especially absolutely fantastic in terms of the fruitiness of these that's why these super hots make really really nice fruity sauces oh actually that's hit my tonsil oh that's pain ah uh, hi That's right in the back of my throat there. Oh, ah. I've got tears now. Oh, shoot. The tears will be hot as well because everything's connected. These build and build and build to the point where you're in a lot of pain. Oh, I, I'm shaking. You know when you think sometimes that you might have made a mistake. I'm so glad I didn't do this to one down the plot. Oh. Okay, let's try a bit of mind over matter. It's not hot. It's not hot. Who am I kidding? That's crazy hot. <sighs> straight away repeating on me as well when you eat something you don't particularly 
you can cope with half the time. So if something's really, really hot, your stomach will go, no, I'm not having that. So far, I've been lucky. I've never been sick with any of these. Um, but there's always a first. Uh, okay, I'm gonna finish this meal. Um, it's still building. Maybe a bit of actual heat from a nice hot cup of tea will take it away. Nope. Okay guys, um, so that's eight chilies for today. Um, some of the ones there I've had before, some of them are new. But uh, if you fancy trying some of these, growing them, um, eating them, using them in whatever you want, give it a go, honestly. They're not all as painful as this. And a lot of the time if you use them in sauces and things, that heat is kind of dispersed. So. Depending on what you put with them, you can put things like uh, cardamom and uh, cumin and things like that, and you can kind of disperse some of that heat. But uh, at the moment, um, I am suffering a little bit. Anyway, that's uh, all for now. So uh, we'll see you on the next video. So take care, guys. All the best. Bye bye.